gotta fix the hair, gotta make it perfect. Everybody, Fiontana Morocco here. How are you doing? Right, I'm sweating on this hoodie. It is too warm. Hi everybody, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. This week, I wanna talk about Zoom versus Google Meet. Now, I've done videos on this before, and often I haven't done really a, a feature comparison, and I'm not necessarily gonna do a feature for feature comparison, uh, but I am gonna talk about some of the core features, particularly those within Google Meet that maybe people aren't aware are actually available in Google Meet. I think a lot of people remember Google Meet the way that it was when um, COVID hit, I know people don't like talking about COVID, um, but I think a lot of people remember it from when, when you know, where the product was at that point. Uh, Google was definitely behind at that point and they would admit that themselves. They've put a huge amount of work into the product uh, since then and they have in, increased the, the number of features. I would say that there has been, you know, this is my own personal guess, but there's been more updates to uh, Google Meet over the last you know, two or three years or, or four years since COVID, uh, probably then in the last five or 10. Um, uh, Google had a, a previous product uh, to meet before that Google Hangouts, but their, their video conferencing solution has really come on, uh, particularly, uh, as I said, in comparison to Zoom. So I just thought it would be useful to do a little bit of a comparison. Uh, I'm going to be comparing the, the maximum feature capabilities. I'm not gonna get into individual SKUs and plans and things like that. We're just gonna talk about sort of what, what's possible if you, you, know, if, if you have the, the maximum plan. So on both solutions um, in terms of participants, both Google and Zoom have 500 participants and then you can also for have larger meetings as well and um, for both where you can expand it out to a thousand participants um, and then they also both have broadcasting capabilities Google can, can broadcast to a hundred thousand um, in terms of some other features that people may not be aware of uh, dial-in access is available in Google Meet again you'll be familiar these are uh, available in, in Zoom I'll, I'll mention if they're not uh, live streaming available in Google Meet as well um, we've got uh, the number of active participants. We've got um, things like um, a Q and A and, and public upvoting as well within the Q and A. We've got polls and hand raising and breakout rooms and noise cancellation uh, and dialing out as well. So you can dial out now from uh, from Google Meet. So a lot of those sort of webinar style features or meeting management features weren't available previously. So things like polls, hand raising, breakout rooms, noise cancellation. Um, we've then also got things like. Um, uh, meet recording, so the ability to actually record a Google Meet. Uh, again, that wasn't previously gone back a, few, a good few years now, that wasn't previously available, and real-time transcription. So both of those are available in, in, um, in Meet and, and Zoom. Uh, we've also got things like calendar integration. Obviously, Google very highly integrated with Google Calendar, um, but also things like you know two-step verification and, and things like that. Um, we've also then got things like co-presenting. So co-presenting didn't used to be uh, available and, and guest invitation and, and screen sharing. Uh, Google's had screen sharing for, for quite some time, but the co-presenting and, uh, and that kind of stuff didn't used to be available. Uh, and that is now available, which is, uh, which is fantastic. Um, you've got um, mobile screen sharing again on, on both. Pinning is now available and spotlighting. Uh, is a recent launch within Google uh, Google Workspace or Google Meet. Uh, hand raising as well. Uh, you've also got auto hand raising as now. So when you, you put your hand up in Google Meet, it will uh, notice that you've got your hand up if you have that feature turned on and it will um, it will raise your hand uh, in the meeting. Uh, we've got noise cancellation. Noise cancellation has been around in Google Meet for, for a long, long time. Uh, we've got live clo closed captions, reactions as well. Um, very, very popular uh, within large meetings. So people can sort of respond and go give a thumbs up or a thumbs down on, on something. Um, you've also got uh, different layouts so people can now change the kind of layouts as well. Uh, we've got things like breakout rooms. Breakout rooms was something that was released fairly soon after COVID, but again, a lot of people don't realize that, that, that this feature is, uh, is available and is here. Um, we've got things like uh, chat as well and, and, and chat within Google Meet. 
Um, there's good integration between Google's actual chat product and Google Meet, but also within the actual meeting itself. So if you're speaking with someone who is not on Google, you can you can engage within the the chat as well, which is which is very useful. And particularly in a large meeting where you 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 want to be able to um, have that. There there's things like um, waiting rooms, which isn't available in Google Meet yet, but um, I believe this is something Google are, are most likely working on and, and will be re released um, you know, probably this year. Uh, virtual backgrounds, that's you know, a really important one for a lot of people, particularly with working from home. Uh, been able to blur your background, which you, you can do uh, obviously now in Google Meet, but you can also put in place virtual backgrounds. And now with things like uh, Gemini, you can actually generate your own backgrounds, which is pretty cool. And I've done that myself a couple of times, um, had some fun with that. Um, also within Gemini, you've got things like lighting enhancements and touch-ups and stuff like that. And those sort of filters, they're available if you've got those capabilities added on again in these sort of higher higher tiers. Um, other stuff that I think is probably really important with Google and, and where it sort of often sort of wins out um, against uh, Zoom is things like uh, security and endpoint encryption. Uh, Google security and Zoom security, I mean, Google's is just, you know, uh, um, way ahead and this was something where Zoom had fallen down. I know they, they've made some improvements recently, um, but still nowhere near um, the levels of, of Google. Um, in terms of, of some other areas that I think uh, are probably worth mentioning in, in terms of where are the scenarios where a customer needs Zoom, and we do see it where we have customers that um, are on Google but, but do still use um, Zoom in some scenarios, we're seeing a lot of customers now move away if they had originally been using Zoom and, and move to, to Google Meet and be able to kind of not pay that Zoom tax, do you know what I mean? Where they're, they're, if they have Google Workspace, they also have Google Meet. And so they're actually able to make that saving, um, which is very, very good. And then sort of redistribute that money maybe uh, on something else. And what we find is there's maybe a couple of use cases where customers need uh, you know, to run webinars or sort of event platforms. And that's maybe where Zoom is required and they have a handful of licenses or there's maybe some external um, party that they collaborate with that just wants to only use Zoom, uh, sales teams, things like that. Uh, sometimes customers are, 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 are familiar with Zoom and so they'll still keep a handful of licenses for, for a particular team or for a management team where again, there's some external party that they have to collaborate with. But for most organizations, there is no need, if particularly if you have Google Workspace, to, 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 to use Zoom and to pay that extra money because you have an enterprise level video conferencing solution already built into the package that you're pay, paying for. Um, and so we're seeing a, a huge amount of customers um, now post COVID over the last few years who may have, have originally been using Zoom um, moving to, to, to using fully Google, uh, Google Meet on, on Workspace. And we're now even seeing some scenarios where um, Microsoft customers um, who may have been using um, Zoom are also looking at using Google Meet and getting some Google Meet licenses as well. Um, as I said, those scenarios where you end up with some need for, 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 for Zoom, it, that's okay, do you know what I mean? And, and like in many scenarios where customers will have a need maybe for Office uh, Excel or something like that, and there's a handful of people in the finance team that have it, it's those exceptions to the rule, and that's, you know, you know generally that, that's seen as, as okay for, for customers, um, but, but they're making that saving on 80 or 90% of their, of their licensing. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys found this uh, valuable. Uh, we will give a bit of a breakdown on um, Zoom versus Google Meet um, in our blog post as well. So do check that out on our website. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or, or on LinkedIn. Follow us if you're watching it on there or any of our other social medias. And I will see you guys next week.